Satan is called several things in the Bible, right? The devil. He's also called the accuser of the brethren. You find this in 12, Revelation 12, 9 and 10. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of, of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Lately, the Lord has been really help, helping my mind to hone in on my thoughts. When, when thoughts start coming that are either accusing me or condemning me or accusing others to me. Look at what they're doing, what they're saying, judging, just not good thoughts either about yourself or others, especially the Bible says the brethren, your brothers and sisters. I'm amazed that that Christians were mostly attacked by other Christians so far as being judgy, right? Or condemning and what we're doing and, and um, just pay attention. That has really helped me. The moment I have bad thoughts that I shouldn't have about myself or other people, I have been paying attention and catching myself and stopping it. Say, so what? No, 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 no. That's the accuser of the brethren in my mind trying to get me to think thoughts. They're not good for me. And I push them out of the way and I start focusing on Jesus. Focusing on something about him or anything good, right? To get your mind off of thoughts that the accuser of the brethren is is shooting into your mind pay attention to your thoughts because you will find the bible says that that the our enemy satan the devil the accuser of the brethren he is out to steal kill and destroy us every day but we don't have a wor thing to worry about because no weapon formed against us will prosper but he's able to shoot these thoughts into our minds and they can they can literally just bring us down into deep depression if we don't stop, catch them, and throw them out when they're not good for our soul.